Hi guys, welcome back to another video and uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, stick and poke tattoos. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do mine. Just to be clear and upfront, tattooing is widely accepted as a safe practice, but there are obviously risks involved if you're modifying your body, especially if you're doing it at home without a doctor or a professional. Um, disclosure, I'm not a professional, but over a long period of time and over having done a lot of research, I have put together a system that works well for me. I've never had any problems with it. My video isn't intended as a step-by-step -step guide, so if you are planning on doing this at home, I will obviously tell you guys how to use certain products and give you some advice, but you need to figure out your own routine and do your own research and do a lot of research and make sure that you're doing it safely and properly. So some basic health and safety things I can mention are, this is an obvious one, but never reuse needles. Never use a needle that's already been used. Um, this is extremely dangerous. This is how bloodborne diseases get passed on to other people. Um, so I'd recommend not to do that. So even if you've sanitized your needles or your pots, um, I still really wouldn't recommend using them because like you can never be completely sure. So just that's a big no. Another one is clean your hands and make sure every product that you are using that interacts with the process, make sure it is clean and sanitized. So wash like a towel or what you can do is put cling film over like a table or if you don't do that, just make sure the table is clean. And you can wear gloves if you want. When I do it to other people, I tend to wear gloves. But when I'm doing it to myself, I just make sure my hands are clean. Um, either is fine. Next, I would really strongly advise buying either a whole kit or like the professional pieces like separately. Instead of like getting like a sewing needle and using boiling water as a, a sterilizer, I would recommend getting like proper tattoo needles, proper disinfectant and alcohol alcohol wipes and all of that stuff just because like the result will just be a lot better and um, this type of thing should really be taken seriously if the tattoos are going to stay on your body forever you want them to be like the best they can be obviously right so I just think it's a lot better to just invest your time to get like the proper kit that you need make sure that you throw everything away after you use it as well like all needles whatever's left just throw it all away First of all, what I do is draw out some ideas and get down exactly what you want to do. I recommend drawing it out a couple times, getting it right. So I'm planning on doing one of these designs. I'm thinking of putting it somewhere around this. So I've got my drawing here and what I do next is I just grab my transfer paper. You just want to lightly trace over. And I usually just use hairpins to secure it in place so it doesn't slide. And I grab my pen and trace over the top. And yeah, just make sure that you press very hard so that there's enough pressure on the other side for it to get printed. Perfect. And then next, 
want to get your uh, stencil gel, it kind of just looks like deodorant. to check it in the mirror before um, and just double check if I'm happy with the placement um, I feel like it might have to be a little bit closer to the Sun and Moon but luckily you can reuse these you can reuse them a couple times so you don't have to keep doing the whole thing over yeah so like I said I think it needs to be a little bit more central and a little bit more that way What you can always do if you're struggling to get the right placement is take your pen and sort of line it up a little bit more. So after a lot of trying I've sort of managed to draw it. It's pretty even. Obviously the lines aren't completely perfect but when I'm actually filling them in I'll be taking a lot of care so it doesn't really matter if the original drawing is a tiny bit messy as long as when you're actually doing it you're just being very careful about what you're doing so I'm gonna show you guys how I set up so here is my art desk uh, just in my room um, just with a towel laid out all of my products on the side and a uh, good light you want to make sure that your hands are washed beforehand and the towel is clean and everything around you is clean and you make sure make sure to um, sanitize this area as well I usually use this and some uh, toilet paper but I've already done this okay um, you don't need too much ink either um, just a tiny bit is perfect so you just dip your needle in the ink and um, go ahead So what you're trying to do is um, spread the skin as much as you can and try and get the needle in this way so it's going like against your skin do you know what I mean so you're digging like you're going backwards if you sort of not like you're putting in as you're going the opposite direction um, this way it sort of tucks the ink underneath the skin and has a better result um, and obviously I can't do this right now because my hand is full but spreading like usually like having the skin tight and stuff is the best and for all those people who are scared whether it hurts or not um, it does hurt a tiny bit obviously like it is going under your skin but it's extremely bearable I find it it really doesn't bother me especially this is quite a good place it's not too it's not too painful and make sure you clean it regularly What a lot of people find the most difficult is that obviously once you put the ink on it sort of spreads a bit so it hides the rest of the drawing. Um, you need to, I'm quite used to drawing sort of in, intricate things where it relies on sort of the flow of your hand a little bit so I'm quite good at this but I think a way to sort of if you struggle with this is to look at the place your next look don't look at the place that you're putting the needle now look at the place that you're gonna put the needle in next so it becomes more of a steady flow um, I think that helps a lot
just keep going over it and um, it's a good idea to keep checking in the mirror as well um, just so you've got all the alignment perfect because like I said before if the line to start with is quite thin then you can sort of adapt it and thicken it up in more of the shape that you desire So this is what it looks like as of now. I think it looks quite good. It can get quite uncomfortable, but doing little things like this isn't too bad. Uh, it's just annoying that I can't spread the skin with my other hand. That really makes it a lot easier. It makes the sort of like when the needle goes into your skin, it makes that just a lot smoother. And there's less sort of like your skin moves around a lot less if you can steady it. So I'm just adding the finishing touches now, as in just if there's any area that isn't quite as perfect as the other one, um, just going over that, making sure the lines are all sort of neat and coherent and as thick as each other. Um, but overall, I think it looks quite good. So here's what it looks like finished. Um, yeah, I like it. So now that I've done the um, the center center star, um, I could fit the stencil exactly on top, so I know where the other ones are now. Um, took up quite a lot of time to be honest, so I'm just going to go fill in those. Getting closer! And while I'm here, I thought I might as well just go over the other stick and pokes that I have. So that looks good. This is what this looks like so far. Um, I think I might leave this one for a little bit later. Um, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks really good. Um, I went over this one as well. And I'm going to go over this. <laughs> I might as well while I'm here. Fingers actually hurt quite a lot. I wish it was darker. It's not. It's really annoying. Like stick and pokes, they don't like, especially on fingers. Or to be honest, all tattoos, they don't just stay black. Like they always fade. I want them like to just be really dark, like defined. So I just have to keep going over them all the time. Once you're finished, uh, you just want to moisturise it. I use cocoa butter, but you can use anything. You can use Vaseline, Bapanthum. Bapanthum is a good one. That's what my tattoo artist told me to use. Yeah, you want to make sure that they don't scab over, because if they scab over, then obviously the scab can fall off and stuff, and if it does, it will take the ink with it. So you just want to keep it as moisturised as possible. Uh, do this twice a day for two weeks, roughly. The healing process isn't that long. They will be pretty much completely healed in about two weeks. And don't itch them. <laughs> Final thing. So it's the next day and um, I'm just preparing to finish off the rest of my tattoo. Thank you.